Former DJ Jonathan King claimed glamour model Samantha Fox was his girlfriend as he lured young boys into his Rolls Royce and sexually assaulted them, a court has heard. The convicted sex offender, 73, allegedly exploited his position in the record industry to carry out attacks on 11 teenagers as young as 14 in the 1970s and 1980s. King, an ex-pop star and producer for acts including Genesis, is said to have lured youngsters into his Daimler or Rolls-Royce cars before driving them home, where they were plied with. He told some of his star-struck targets that Samantha Fox was his girlfriend and he could introduce them to famous comedian Kenny Everett, the jury were told. He also gave them presents, including records and concert tickets, showed them pornography and made false promises of sex with teenage girls, said prosecutor Rosina Cottage QC. When they were in his power and in no position to repel his advances he would assault them. It appears that it was a game of manipulation and power over boys aged about 13 to 16, she said. He would play the same routine again and again, honed for success. King, of Bayswater, central London, is standing trial at Southwark Crown Court where he denies 24 serious sexual assault charges against boys aged between 14 and 16, alleged to have taken place between 1970 and 1988. Dressed in a dark suit, white shirt, blue tie and colorful trainers, he appeared in court under his real name, Kenneth George King. Wearing round glasses and a bum bag, he sat expressionless in the dock as the case against him was opened. A jury was told King denies he would ever have sex with anyone under age or force himself on someone without consent. But the prosecutor said his denials are hollow and revealed he was convicted in 2001 of sexual offenses against five teenage boys in the 1980s. Referring to the current allegations, she added, he claims not to know or remember most of the boys, despite their photographs or letters or addresses and details still being in his home up to 30 years later, like trophies kept for his own private perusal, the court heard King would target straight, immature boys, securing sex by showering them with gifts of records, concert tickets, meals and alcohol, as well as paying insincere compliments and making false promises. Cambridge graduate Jonathan King rose to fame as a singer, songwriter and music producer in the 60s and 70s. He had hits with Everyone's Gone to the Moon in 1965 and Una Paloma Blanca in 1975. He discovered Genesis and wrote and produced hits for teen idols the Bay City Rollers. During time in New York in the 1980s, he hosted the BBC TV show Entertainment USA. Almost all the encounters involved pickups in the car outside venues where he knew he could find young boys, cinemas and record shops. Ms. Cottage said, this case concerns sexual assaults by this defendant upon 11 teenage boys in the 1970s and 1980s. The defendant used his position in the music industry and his fame to lure boys into his Daimler or Rolls Royce, where he would flatter them and pretend that they could help him with research or promotion. He would then drive them to his home where he would give them alcohol and promise them sex with teenage girls and show them pornography. One alleged victim did not report the incident out of embarrassment, but decided to come forward after an article about King in the independent newspaper angered him. In the 2012 interview, King bragged, The only apology I have is to say that I was good at seduction. One of the alleged victims said King told him on his 21st birthday that he was too old and ugly for him now. The trial, which could last until August, continues. The court heard King name dropped stars like comedian Kenny Everett and model Samantha Fox in a bid to impress alleged victims. In April 1970, he pulled up alongside a 15-year-old on Tottenham Court Road in his white Daimler Sovereign Saloon and asked whether he wanted to help him promote some records. The car was fitted with tinted windows, a TV, a stereo and cocktail cabinet. He took the boy to a Chinese restaurant and got him drunk while name-dropping Kenny Everett before and then took him back to his home. 
The prosecutor described how the victim was shown King's music room and his next memory was of waking, naked, in the defendant's bed which had black shiny sheets. After carrying out a sex attack on him, King gave him five pounds for a taxi home and he never saw him again. The prosecutor showed jurors a video of King's home, pointing out a topless picture of 1980s Page 3 model and singer Samantha Fox. Samantha Fox is someone who the defendant occasionally described as his girlfriend to one or two of these young men, she added. One said he was star-struck when King pulled up in his car and started speaking to him.